What's up, hockey fans? Hello, Leaf fans. It's Sam from the Samuel B12 Experience. We just wrapped up the press conference with Brendan Shanahan, Keith Pelly, and Brad Tree Living, the Toronto Maple Leafs end of year press conference. There's a lot to unpack here, some things to read between the lines. Let's get into it. All right, so Keith Pelly kicked this off. It's the first time Keith Pelly is back in Toronto. He's been here for about four weeks now. He's been away for about nine years. He came in to this press conference stating that he is not going to be involved in hockey operations. He's going to be here to support Brendan Shanahan and Brad Tree Living, but there is one goal on the board, and that goal is to win and win now. When he was asked in the question period, what does winning mean to him? What does winning mean to the owners and the organization? The only thing that winning means is win the Stanley Cup. Now, Keith Pelly did say that there are a couple key factors, a couple key philosophies and principles that he's going to bring to this organization. Of course, there's the skill and talent, and that's what Brad and Brendan are going to worry about. But it's chemistry and unity from the owners to the equipment manager. The whole organization pulling on the same rope in the same direction is the only way to get success. So Keith Pelly really going to bring the chemistry, the unity, and hopefully that will lead to success. So a great, great opening remarks by Keith Pelly. He then passed it over to Brennan Shanahan. Shanahan coming out and saying he is taking responsibility for the actions of this club, not only over this past playoff run and past season, but over previous seasons. Yes, Sheldon Keefe was relieved of duty. Yes, the coach has been removed, but he understands, Shanahan understands, the buck stops with him. He makes a lot of the decisions to set up this team, and so he takes full responsibility. The way he was speaking, I actually thought he was going to announce he was stepping down, but that is not the case. He is sticking around right now and seems to be at least throughout the summer. So Shanahan takes responsibility, understands that this needs to change. He says they're going to look at everything. They're going to evaluate everything from players, contracts, personnel, how they played, what they need to improve. Nothing is off the table and they're going to do everything in their power to make forward and make room to win. Now, Tree Living really echoed a lot of what Shanahan was saying. They understand, you know, Keefe, was needed to move on. It's nothing against him. He is a great coach. He did a lot of very good things, was a great man. They were saying all the right things, but they've come out and said a change was needed. Somebody new at the helm is required. And one of the lines that really struck me, they said a new voice was needed. And this was said a couple of times. A new voice was needed. Are they referring to the coach? In this case, they were. But later in the press conference, as it was repeated, it made me think, are they referring to a new captain? They were talking about needing players to step up. They need somebody who's going to bring the skill out of these players. They need someone with a voice to speak up. And as they continued talking about the players and a new voice needed, it made me wonder, is John Tavares' days as captain limited? We're going to obviously have to see what that is going to go and where it's going to go. The two big areas they identified as needs for immediate improvement. One, special teams. They did not score enough special teams goals. We saw that in the playoff series against Boston. Special teams needs to improve. They did not score enough goals. Now, they also didn't score enough five on five goals. The regular season, they did. The regular season, Toronto was number one in the East at scoring goals. They were number two in the NHL at scoring goals. But when it came time for the playoffs, they could not put the puck in the net and that was difficult now scoring goals in the playoffs is a lot harder than the regular season you're defended heavier you're defended harder and this team has to figure out how to score the playoff goals and that's what's going to be addressed now a couple updates on the injury front that did come out of this bobby mcmahon bobby mcmahon has an mcl sprain he would have been available if they made it into the second round but that's why he was out he had an mcl sprain 
Now, Austin Matthews had a couple of things going on. He did suffer a nasty, nasty virus that he could not shake. He was extremely, extremely ill. Now, as well, in game four, and that was um, Matthews when he kind of was pulled out, Matthews took a hit and was suffering some head issues. They thought it was concussion-like. They weren't exactly sure. They didn't know if it was virus-related, but he did suffer a hit in game four and was suffering from some head issues. Could have been dizziness, headaches. So they pulled him out for precautionary measures between the head issues and the virus. They sat him out. He was finally cleared to return in game seven. Now, William Nylander, we know Nylander came out and did talk about the migraines and the head issues. He was held out for precautionary measures because anytime now in this day and age in hockey, when you have concussion-like symptoms, you are not playing. So we all know about the Nylander situation. Connor Dewar, Connor Dewar was playing with a messed up shoulder. He is actually having shoulder surgery right now and he's going to be out for a little while. He is expected to return for uh, training camp, so no hockey for Dewar over the summer. He's recovering from the shoulder injury. Now, Joseph Wall. Joseph Wall suffered an SI joint sprain in his back at the end of game six, and he was not medically cleared for game seven. He could not play with that joint sprain. So that's why Joseph Wall did not return. Oh, there's a lot more to unpack here. Uh, it does seem like Shanahan is staying around, like I mentioned. And again, everything is on the table. They're evaluating everything. What they said is now is not a time for patience. There comes a time when you have to look at things and you got to hold back and slow down and it, you need to build that chemistry. And uh, there is a time for patience, but that is not right now. And they said that a number of times. Now is not a time for patience. Everything is on the table as they're looking for some new voices to get in here and get going. Shanahan also said I, that sacrifices will need to be made. The players all know the disappointment. The players are disappointed. The fans are disappointed. Everybody's in the same boat. The players now know in order to win, in order to continue to change this team, sacrifices will need to be made. I thought that was a very interesting comment. Now, the, the comment from Tree Living on Joseph Wall said he has all the faith in Joseph Wall. All the faith in Joseph Wall. Samsonov contract is expiring. And he didn't really talk anything more about Samsonov, but that he has the faith, in jo the faith in Joseph Wall and that they know and understand that he seems to be open to a lot of injuries. So they need to do some analysis there and see, do they have to adjust his training regimen? Do they have to come in and look at uh, the attention that he's been getting when he has been hurt? Does their medical treatments not do enough to get him fully healthy? Why is Joseph Wall suffering all these injuries? So they are going to look into that. And again, last but not least, the big message that they came across is they need a voice to bring out the skill. So those are some news and notes from this press conference. Again, Keith Pelly, Brendan Shanahan, Brad Tree Living, they did say they were going to do some serious analysis. Nothing is off the table, which leads me to believe that we are going to see some major changes coming up. They were asked about the salary, how 50% is tied up with four players, and they didn't really get into it, but they say they understand, they have to look at it, and they are going to address certain things. It really sounds to me like one of these core four might be asked to move their no-move clause they might be leaving this organization because in order to improve, to continue to find a way of scoring tough goals, to be gritty and grimy and more physical, which is kind of the message they were harping, it sounds like one of these core four is going to go. Potentially, Marner, it sounds like we might see a captaincy change. We'll have to wait there. Of course, this is just getting started. We will bring you all the news as it breaks. But again, this was the media conference. Keith Pelly, Brendan Shanahan. Brad Tree Living. They didn't get into specifics, but if we have a few key points to take away, it is unity. It is chemistry. It is skill, a new voice, and everything is on the table. I'm Sam from the Samwell B12 Experience. Thank you for being here. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Check out all of our videos. We look forward to seeing you as our playoff coverage continues. This is Sam from Samwell B12 saying, Go Leafs go, 
Can't wait to see these changes.